this person said, actually, there is nothing more scarier than a government doing nothing in the face of a public health crisis. Also, why not order police to enforce mandate? And what she's responding to is the mayor of what is this? Is this DC, right? We are Mayor Washington, DC. Mayor Washington, DC said there's nothing scarier than having a conversation with someone who doesn't have a mask on. Man, I'd have been shot at. I've been um, in a lot of sticky situations. Talking to someone without a mask ain't one of them. There's nothing scarier than having a conversation with someone who doesn't have a mask on. Don't scare others. Jesus Christ. And it's a little meme thing. It says, and the last one is the hilarious part. Wear a mask when you have guests in your home. Listen here. M- M- Muriel, M- Muriel Bowser. Wow, is that her really her last name, Bowser? <laughs> That's very fitting. Yes, her last name is Bowser, bro. Or is it a he or she? Uh, the last name's Bowser. Wow. What talk about ironic? Um I'm not wearing a damn mask in my own house. I'm not doing that, (laughs) but let's talk about more. So what this person said, this is what I had been saying is that the whole, okay, Trump's a fascist, Trump's a dictator that coming from the left means absolutely nothing. Now, if it comes from people who look at policy, that's one thing, right? But when it particularly comes from leftists and, and how they approach this virus, them calling Trump a fascist or a dictator means nothing because they midst of this pandemic want him to be a dictator want him to be a fascist and want other governments to do that they want absolute control they want to dictate what it is that people do all of that fascist trumps a fat when it comes from that side right if you have a case to make you can make it but when it comes to that side if your position is Okay, we need the state to force mass mandates. We need the state to be utilized to hijack factories using using the DPAs or whatever. Uh, you, you you want the state to force people into restrictions or abide by restrictions, be it in in lockdowns or certain businesses can't open up and all that. You have absolutely zero room to talk about someone else being a dictator or someone else being a fascist because they are absolutely upset, which is why they say, well, this is hell right now. Trump virus is trending on, on Twitter. You can see right here. They are upset because he's not using control like they want him to do. And this is why all Biden's policy has been, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to force you to wear a mask. I'm going to use said government agency to force you to do this and that. It's a hollow point when they get, and I ain't talking about bullets, but it's a, it's a completely hollow point for them to bring up dictatorships or gripe about dictators or gripe about fascism because they in this pandemic want absolutely that their politicians are advocating that I've talked to n- numerous times, not even just Trump, but talking about more so with truck Chuck Schumer and, and brand Bernie Sanders and even uh, Joe Biden. We went through his entire COVID-19 response thing and all this task force and stuff that he wants to build. And it's some of it centered around using the defense protection act, which allows basically the state, to or the federal government um, when I say the state I'm not using it in terms of literal states like Texas I'm using it in more so the, the fact of what it is and they want to use the state to jack people's stuff to utilize their resources to make certain things that they want them to make be it in rest 
you know, respirators or ventilators that they're not going to use um, and, and all kinds of things like that. That's what they were advocating. And because Trump didn't use as much force as he as they wanted him to use, he was fairly lax aside from closing the borders and and all of that fairly lax. Um, around a lot of different stuff. And they say, well, if he did more, then we wouldn't have all of these cases, cases, cases. They want him to be a dictator. They're actually mad at him because he's not. Or in this regards, he's not. Let me make that, deviate from that. So in that case, he's not. They're mad because they think that the control should be utilized in the event that it's scared. This is the thing about leftists. If they can use some sort of humanitarian effort, they have absolutely no issue with fascism. They have absolutely no issue with um, with authoritarianism. None. They only have issue when someone uses the power in a way that they don't recommend that they use it. But power in general, authoritarianism in general, they are all for that. They have no issues with the state being used to, uh, you know, force you to vaccinate in this regard. They have no issues with using the state to forcefully rob folks to pay for their education or, or all sorts of other things. They are very authoritarian. They just try to mask their authoritarianism with humanitarian efforts. It's like, well, I care for you. I care about the old people. I care about the black people. I care about the brown people. I care about the kids. And then they use that as a reasoning to be able to force folks to do things that they otherwise would not specifically with their money and they want people to pay for their whimsical ideals. But this was the interesting thing. And would you say, why not order the police to force the force, uh, enforce ma- and enforce mandate, which they are, by the way, um, we've already seen examples of that. Some maybe not, but a lot of them are. These people want to ensure conflict in the conversation that we're having right now in America with the police and and all kinds of things. These people want to ensure conflict with police officers, which is all this is. And this is why I talked about how with with all of this sort of uh, Black Lives Matter stuff and why people aren't to be taken serious when they advocate for these sorts of petty law. Uh, These are not petty crimes because they're not crimes at all. Um, There's no actual victim here. They could try to pretend like a potential victim could be because they think mask, I guess, give you invulnerability or something, or you just can't get anybody sick if you ma- if you wear a mask, right? In, in any way, shape, or form. Never mind if you're touching it or anything. None of that matters. Or if you're wearing just a piece of cloth and not even one that's actually the legit- legitimate mask. But <laughs> I digress. We talk about that with like Eric Gardner. Good luck getting left us will say that, OK, it was a good thing that um, people are highlighting how bad that instance was when Eric Gardner was killed. They don't put two and two together, though. Why was Eric Gardner killed? That's the question that you should be asking leftists. Why was he killed? What? instance happened and which started a conflict well supposedly he's selling cigarettes untaxed where is the crime in that there is no crime there's absolutely no crime there there's no victim there the state can try to pretend that they're a victim because they're not getting the cut, but they're not owed uh, the the fruits of anybody's labor. So, a problem started because, well, it's illegal to supposedly do that. Police come, more conflict, the band gets choked out. Good luck trying to get them to put two and two together. What would happen, I'm not saying this will happen. I hope to God that it doesn't happen. If there's a black man without a mask, police go to enforce it, whether it be he's walking on down the street or whatever it is, he's in some place that he has the right to be 
um, be it in his own private property or someone else's business or something like that, that would that have no issues with him wearing, not wearing a mask. Let's assume that that happens and a black man ends up saying and slightly resisting, which I'm not one of the, we're going to talk about the police here in a little bit. I'm not one of those who thinks that you're obligated to not resist the police. You got the wrong guy. You're on the wrong channel. If you think that um, I look at the police as aggressors in, 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 in any case that they are trying to enforce violence or inflict violence upon whether it be in kidnapping someone i don't care if they're just well just doing my job i don't care don't there's no victim they ain't no crime so to be roughing folks up over that i don't care about that um that's still a bad thing but let's assume that that's where it goes the leftist was and, and someone gets choked out they die they get beat up by way of the police because they're going to enforce a mandate and he let's say he resists They'll be screaming Black Lives Matter, and they'll never connect the dots that the policies that they advocate ensure that kind of behavior. But this is, again, goes back to the fact that these guys are a little authoritarian. Lock it down. Force people to shut down. Mask mandates. Force them to wear a mask. Ensuring conflict with the police. And these will be the same crackheads walking around with their fists up in the air talking about Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 